This is a piece of track for my Wintersville Express set that I covered in a previous video. These tracks are S scale and work just fine with the trains they are intended to be used with. It's not super durable and this set and its counterparts don't come with many of them. What these sets do have is a lot of curve track and if you want more straights you pretty much just have to buy another set. Another problem that these tracks have is that their end connectors tend to snap if you're not careful. You can find other scales of plastic track online and try and scale it down for 3D printing, like this piece here, but they're never exactly the same and I have never managed to find a model that is the actual correct track piece. These replacement pieces also tend to derail the train if they're placed on curves. This got me thinking that I would really love to find an easier way to get these tracks in bulk without sacrificing quality and operational reliability. So I decided that since no one else seems to have made an actual model of this track, I would do it, and this is the result. It's a completely 3D printed piece of straight track that is an almost exact replica of the original. This piece was made from prototype dimensions with my version of the track clipping together with all the types of track included in these sets. It's significantly more durable than the originals due to being made out of filament plastic instead of cast. The length, rail height, tie height, and gauge all match the originals, and best of all, these are able to be printed on a regular printer with no compromises in functionality. The connection between the original track is solid and holds well, and if you print multiple, they will connect solidly. The train runs over these without issue, and they can be used in front of curves without derailing the train. They do have some differences to the original, such as the bottoms being closed and there being four rail spikes to each tie instead of three alternating like the originals, but they look great and function great. The ability to print these means that now I can have as many of them as I want, and this adds a lot of options for how long the tracks can be. If you want to try these out for yourself, I've placed the link in the description for you to download and print these. They do need to be printed with supports to fill the gaps under the rails, and these are removed after. These tracks are a good alternative for the original Newbright tracks, and they work almost flawlessly. I hope this ends up being useful in some way, and please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. That's all. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.